development, how are you? Today my topic is about theories, models and strategies for professional development part 2. So I'm going to divide the topics into four sections. First section I'm going to talk about professional development is transformative research by Cranton and King in 2003. So if an adult critically self-reflection on teaching and seek alternative ways of understanding on their teaching profession, uh, transformative learning theory about teaching takes place. So they need strategies for transformative professional development. These strategies are the action plans, the reflective uh, activities, the case studies, the curriculum development and critical theory discussions. So through action plan, the students can reflect the sequence of events for the professional development these sections or prepare to build toward reflection and application. So using case studies to reflect the um, real life situation and to recognize uh, the harder question and to probe unspoken assumptions and to analyze the consequences of the choices and actions and through critical theory discussions, educators can draw a conclusion for curriculum development on what teaching style or methods should be used. So furthermore, educators can explore, discuss, practice and prepare um, new material that is relevant to their classes. Critical uh, theory includes four parts, four types. The content reflection, the process reflection and the premise reflection. Okay. Now, the content reflection uh, is to examine the content or the description of a problem. Uh, there will be uh, reflective questions such as uh, what happened here and what did I do that led to that outcome? Second one is the process reflection, which means to check on the problem solving strategies, we are using reflective questions such as Am I overlooking something? Do I not understand the learning style of uh, my students? And the last reflection is premise reflection, which is the uh, to, to solve the problems of like reflective issues such as like question asked like why do I responsible for that situation and does it matter that uh, everyone did not have a good learning experience today all right now come to my second session of the topic is about the motivation the motivation is um, researched by uh, Rodowski in 2003 uh, Rodowski quote now we can use our awareness of uh, our progress on program developers to inspire us to learn more about sustaining the change we have skillfully enhanced. So in creating a, a professional program, let me look at, uh, we need to look at the participation and the learning and the transfer. So to learn, one must participate and without learning, there is no transfer. So in the final stage of uh, professional practice, is, uh, that is transfer, uh, the students apply what they learn in their life uh, and workplace. Rodowski motivational framework for culturally responsible teaching is to enhance and to establish inclusion and to develop attitude and to enhance meaning and to engender competence. Now, come to my third section of the topic is uh, about the strategies for success and research was by King 2003. In King's research, he raised a question like, how to cultivate the transformative journey? So here, he said we need, number one, the principles such as learning relationships, which is vital for learning um, technology. All right, and the uh, multiple learning acti uh, activities that is to cater for different learning styles and methods. The principal also need the follow up, which is to keep encapsulating all of the previous principles. And we need the strategies like to help educators appreciate and assess their current knowledge and need to determine a plan of study and to engage educators in developing need curricula materials rather than prototypes and to reflect on practices and strategies individually and with peer. And my fourth section is about uh, higher education research by uh, Prancado in 2003. So there are five components of a learning organization which links to goals, broader mission and challenges. 
The Faculty Development Framework creates to help higher education to endure inter internal and external pressures to change. So they are, for example, uh, personal mastery, team teaching, mental models, shared vision, and system thinking. These are the external pressure, okay? Um, now, come to my focus. Uh, oh, now come to the conclusion, which means I finish all the topics for part two. Now, in conclusion, today we learn, uh, we know that through action plans, the students can are able to reflect the sequence of events for the professional development sections or programs and build towards reflection and application. And also we learned that it is helpful to look at the process of critical thinking in three ways, which is a contain reflection, the process reflection and the premise reflection. And also we need principles and strategies to cultivate the transformative journey. Okay, let's conclude my today's topic on theories, models, strategies uh, for professional uh, development part two. And my next topic will be implementing adult uh, development strategies. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.